Hi! Today I wanted to do an unboxing of a fountain pen in some ink. I was contacted by penchalet.com to see if I wanted to review a couple of products and I said sure as long as you just want me to give an honest review. And so these are the products they chose to send me and um, they've also offered my viewers a discount code it's Pen Pixie, and I will put it in the description box along with links to both of these products. Um, with the coupon code, you get 10% off. And um, so let's get started. Let's look in the box. All right. So I was sent a bottle of ink and a fountain pen and I am going to try those out for you today. The fountain pen is a Pilot Knight and it's silver with a medium tip, medium nib rather. Let's see. So I was pretty excited um, to do this and I have long been a window shopper at penchalet.com um, and so I'm pretty excited to now try some products from them this is a really nice case <laughs> you know and I didn't even think to look up how much this pen costs like I said there'll be a link to this pen below um, I know that the the inks run around 24 ish I believe but this, I'm not quite sure. It comes in a beautiful box. It's a nice leather feeling case and it has some padding to it. I was pretty excited that um, Penchale, the, the person that contacted me, suggested maybe trying out a Pilot because I've pretty much loved every single Pilot fountain pen I've ever tried and I have quite a little collection of Pilots. Um, it doesn't matter the nib size or the pen, the converter, it, I like all of them, so I'm sure I'm going to like this, but I will definitely give it a try. That is a beautiful pen. Look at that. Wow. That is really pretty. It's like super classy looking. <laughs> it looks, it, it's, it's definitely something that uh, you could use for business. It's really a uh, really nice pen. The packaging was really nice. Uh, it came in this little tray, and below is an ink cartridge and a user uh, use and care guide. So I'm going to leave that there. And I will put the little box to the side if I can manage that. And it looks like, you know, you would have this would hold three separate pens because there's three slots, so you could use this to hold other nice pens. So the pen definitely feels substantial in the hand. Um, I like that it has like this frosted aluminum kind of look to it. Let's do a measurement here. Capped from the highest point is almost, it's like a little over, it's like five and three eighths of an inch. This pen is really heavy. It feels really nice. I'm trying to think. Um, what other pen do I have that it, it like is comparable? I would say it's comparable to uh, this Jin Hao, the Sparkling Sands. It's like that weighty. It feels really good though. Um, I like the texture of it. I like that it has the the shiny accents to go with it, and everything is really sharp. Like literally, you can see that it has nice sharp edges to it. It's just a really sleek looking modern pen. I could definitely see this sitting on an executive's desk or uh, anybody's desk at, desk at, at a, a business and it obviously is going to look nice just in your own personal collection. That's really nice. Let's uncap it. So the cap is pretty heavy just in itself but uh, the pen feels really nice in the hand. Nice and weighted. Let's do a measurement without a cap. It measures just, um, it's like 
Oh, like around four and a half inches. Maybe just a little bit longer than four and a half inches. Let's take a close up look at the nib. So it says Pilot Super Quality Japan, and we see the M on there for medium. It has a nice, smooth, black, lacquer looking section to hold on to. And then a little bit of a step up to that uh, aluminum, that, I get a, like a brushed aluminum look. Let's unscrew it and see what's inside. Okay, great. So I'm definitely familiar with this kind of a converter. This comes in the Pilot Metropolitan and it's really easy to fill. So I will show you how to do that here. And um, I don't know if this one would come off. It looks like it it does if I pull it hard enough. I don't know if I need to do that. Um, you don't necessarily have to remove this to be able to clean it. You just need to you know, flush it with water. I should flush the pen before I use it, but I'm not going to because I'm just going to test it out right now. So, uncapped, it was just a little over four and a half inches. Let's see if it caps. It does. It caps really nicely. Um, inside of the cap, there's like a, like a plastic, and it definitely will grip to the pen, and it's not making any marks on the barrel of the pen. And... I will measure capped. It measures right about just about five and three quarters of an inch. It is definitely a lot heavier capped, but it still actually feels pretty good in my hand. Um, the distribution of weight causes it to sit just right here in this pocket, and um, it actually doesn't feel too heavy at all. It it feels pretty good. All right, it's a beautiful pen. I can't wait to try it. Let's see what else we have going on. Uh, they sent me some Jayer Bond 1670 Blue Ocean ink. And I don't normally buy bottles of ink. I have a few that I've purchased. Normally I just buy samples. Um, so let's see, it has a caution on it. Highly saturated ink. Clean nib in section with damp cloth to avoid potential staining. Don't leave ink in fountain pen reservoir. So, good to know. Although with something like this, with this converter that's like a, it's kind of a sack that you will squeeze and then it will uh, draw ink back up as it, what would be the word, decompresses. Um, you wouldn't really see any staining in here, but uh, I'm guessing you might see some staining on the feed, somewhere around the nib. Um, if I was putting it into a pen like this, where it has, you know, a clear body and a clear converter, that might be something where you don't want to keep it in there because you don't want it to stain, right? But you're never going to see it in this. So, let's open this ink. I'm pretty excited about this because I love all of these shimmering inks that are coming out and um, it's really nice that they sent me a full bottle and this pen let's see it's definitely a, a cute box and inside Wow, that is a really pretty bottle. I love the packaging. And it comes with a little booklet. And it's in all different kinds of languages. English is right there in the middle. It tells us about uh, just the ink, how it was established, the company, the history. That's the word I'm looking for, the history. And so you have this beautiful bottle. It's got a little uh, silver cord. It's got a nice wax seal. Another wax seal here, and look at all that shimmer in the bottom. Pretty excited about this, and I think you can see it's like a really deep, rich blue. I'm going to shake it up just because I want the shimmer to be all throughout, and I can see it. It's, it might be hard for you to see, but I can see it shimmering all in the bottle. That's beautiful. So the next trick is going to be to get this off. Oh, it just screws open. <laughs> 
it's a good thing I didn't shake it too hard because it wasn't on that tightly, but definitely, you know, it wasn't going to come out, but I thought it was going to have to break this seal. No, it's just really cute. It's just a screw on cap. Deceiving. But adorable. All right, let's try this. Super excited about it. Um, and... I can't wait to try it out. I like this bottle. It's it's just cute. I would just have that sitting on my desk. So, this is just like a Pilot Metropolitan. And how you're going to fill it is um, you're just going to squeeze this. I think you can see that. And when you squeeze it, the little bladder here kind of just squeezes together. And then just from like vacuum pressure, when you let it go, it's just going to slowly fill up. You're going to want to make sure that when you put the nib into the bottle, you see there's like a little hole right here. That's what's going to, that's where the ink is going to draw up into this sack. So you want to make sure that you have this little hole all the way down into the ink. Um, otherwise, it's not going to draw any ink up. That means that you are going to get some ink on this section here where you're going to hold it with your fingers. So that's why you always want to have a paper towel or a tissue so that you can wipe it off. And um, then you're good to go. And you know, really, if you're using fountain pens, you've probably already got ink on your fingers anyways, so there's nothing new there. So it's much easier when you have a nice big bottle than a little sample to go ahead and dip in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip in, and you can either already have this compressed or not. I will. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I get it all the way down as far as I need to. And so I'm just kind of checking to see, like, how far down am I, because it's hard for me to tell. In this bottle okay so that's plenty far and I'm just going to I'll show you from the side I'm just going to slowly unpinch that and there should be ink in there if you're not sure or you don't believe me let's uh, let's try it I'm just gonna squeeze it now and as I'm squeezing it you can see all the ink coming out so it worked it was a success so let's go ahead and draw that ink back up and I should have ink in there. So you can see that there's ink now on the nib and on the section. We're just going to wipe that off. All right. And it doesn't matter how stable the bottle is. I would always recommend that you cap your ink as soon as you're done with it. I've spilled way too much to not do that. Not only is, does it make a mess, but it's a waste. And then I'm just going to screw this back on to the rest of the pen. And I'm going to give it a write. So I'm just using um, some ARC notebook paper. This is the junior size. And we'll see how long it takes to get the nib uh, flowing. Let me just go ahead and adjust a little bit. and it's flowing right away. Now notice, I didn't flush this pen, and a lot of people leave me comments saying, you really should flush the pen before you use it for the first time. How come you use it without flushing the pen? You really should flush that. I understand, um, but when I'm here on camera and I'm unboxing and I'm showing you for the first time, I'm not flushing. I'm just going for it. And everything seems to have worked out fine so far, <laughs> for the most part. So as you can see, it immediately started writing and it hasn't stopped. And um, this is pretty effortless. It is definitely a weighty pen. You will feel that when you're using it. But the nib is super smooth, like very little feedback. It's a medium, and so it's a Japanese medium. And that means that it's going to be finer than a European medium. Um, but this is definitely f fine enough that I could write with this every day. It, it doesn't lay down too thick of a line, which is really nice. Um, this, this would be an excellent everyday writer. I mean, if it's going to continuously write like this, no skips, no blobs, uh, nothing. I mean, it's, it's writing perfectly, smoothly, seamlessly across the page. And I haven't stopped since I started. And uh, there was no hard starts on it. It just went really nicely. Wow. 
So the nib, this, this feels weighty. And so because it feels weighty, I have to put like no pressure on the nib. I'm just gliding it across the page at this point. I'm not pushing down at all. Um, and if you angle the pen the way that you hold it, all of the weight gets pushed down onto the nib and not so much onto your hand and you wouldn't, I don't think you would feel too fatigued after a while um, because you don't really have to apply any pressure, it just writes. It's really nice. The nib feels super smooth. I don't feel, I feel like barely any feedback. It's, it's really just that nice. It feels like it has a lot of tipping material and it's hard to see, it's hard to tell unless we were to examine it up close, but it just, it feels solid. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It feels really solid, really smooth. Yeah, it's, uh, this is a really nice writer. I gotta look up how much this pen is. I have a feeling it's something like in the 40s. But I mean, I'm thinking like, First of all, it's a Pilot, so you know it's going to be good. The nib is going to be awesome, straight out of the box. I've never had a problem with a Pilot nib. Um, nor the, the, nor had a, have I ever had a problem with any kind of like build quality of a Pilot, but this is, this is a substantially nicer pen than the other Pilots I own. I have some Metropolitans, I have a Kakuno, I have the Petite, um, I have some Varsities. I think that's my pile. Oh, I have a Plumix. Um, and this is by far so much nicer than all of those. I mean, this is just a step up. And I had heard, and this may be as old information that is no longer applicable, but that you're either going to get a budget fountain pen, like say a Metropolitan for $15, which is an excellent deal for that price point. I don't think it can be beat. Still, I don't think anything beats the Metropolitan at its price point. But then, like the next step up, you really have to spend like 60 to $80, um, and that would be like for something like a Twisby. But I am actually going to now look this up for sure. Um, this, this pen, let's check it out. I'm just going to penchalet.com. And uh, let's check out the Pilot Knight. Wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really shocked. Uh, so this pen right now at penchalet.com, normally it's $48 and it's 50% off for $24. I cannot believe that this is a $24 pen. That pretty much blows me away. Wow, I am shocked. <laughs> That is an excellent deal. I'm, I'm really surprised. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you're thinking like, if I'm thinking Pilot Metropolitan is like $15, and for an extra $9, you're getting something that is, I think, definitely more sophisticated looking, appropriate for any situation. It looks way more expensive than it actually is, and it writes beautifully. I think, I mean, I'm just, this was just straight out of the, I didn't flush it, anything, and there's not one single skip on this whole piece of paper. That is pretty incredible. That is an incredible deal. Um, I'm pretty shocked. Huh. $24 for this pen. I mean, this is so much better than so many pens that I've paid way more for, or at that same price point. I mean, I'm thinking, and I'm not trying to call anybody out, but I'm thinking like, you know, my Noodlers, uh, I paid, I think, more for my Noodlers Ahab, and this writes way nicer than that. That's incredible. It's like cheaper than a Lamy Safari, and I think this, this is just really impressive. It's just an impressive pen. This would be an excellent gift for somebody that wants to get into fountain pens because it would cost you $24, but they would think you spent a lot more. I mean, this feels like a substantial pen. And Pilot Nibs, if this is like anything else that I've had, and I've had them for years, they require very little maintenance. You don't have to mess with them. They just work. And I can imagine that that's what this is like. It just works. I wonder if this nib is interchangeable.
um, because I know like Metropolitans and Plumix nibs are interchangeable. I wonder if this is. I may play with that and I will revisit this pen. But for now, I'm just going to write out my thoughts here. Pilot Knight. It's nice. Nice writer. I mean, it's laying down a nice line of ink, but it's not too thick. I really like that. This is um, an incredible value. <laughs> I still can't believe the price. At $24. Oops. At penchalet.com. I don't know if that's the price anywhere else, but with that price plus 10% off, you're looking at what, like around 20 bucks? Wow. Um, the nib is extremely smooth. Even ink flow. No skipping. This is really nice. Uh, it's the it's. I would say it is substantial in how it feels and the weight is evenly distributed. You don't, I don't think that you would feel too fatigued with this pen, I guess, is the point I'm trying to make with that. It's very comfortable to hold. Uh, the This section here that you would hold, um, it feels very comfortable. Sometimes um, this will bother people, or sometimes like the edge of the cap will, but at least where it's sitting in my hand, uh, none of that is bothering me. Not, I don't, I'm not really feeling any of that. So very comfortable uh, with no uh, distracting or harsh edges. Yeah, this is really nice. This is, uh, I'm so glad they sent me this pen to try. It's, this is a great pen. I, I always recommend the Metropolitan to people. In fact, I did on a video just like two days ago, I recommended a Metropolitan. But I would have to say at this price, if you were beginning in fountain pens, I would recommend this instead. It's just a step up. It looks better. It looks more sophisticated. Um, it's just a little bit nicer. <laughs> a lot nicer. And uh, the price is hardly, hardly different. So if you are looking to get started in fountain pens, I would absolutely recommend this. If you already have fountain pens and you just like the way this looks, for the price, you know if you're in fountain pens, that's nothing. $24 is nothing. And um, what a great, great pen for the price. I can't, I can't even believe it. I'm still kind of blown away by that. Um, so I would, I would definitely recommend getting this. This is just first impressions, but I will try it. Um, a lot uh, and, and come back with a just a quick review about my impressions after having used it for an extended period of time but just straight out of the box I'm impressed I'm impressed and for the price I, I'm kind of blown away um, definitely don't want to neglect the ink so as you can see I think that you can see um, it just comes out as a nice out of this pen it comes out just as a nice basic blue and I can kind of like do this and I think this is going to be really hard for you to see on camera but when I'm holding it like this and I kind of move it in the light I can just see little flecks of shimmer throughout the letters it's definitely not overwhelming um, and you can see it if you're looking for it but I think if you weren't looking for it you could easily overlook it I don't know if that's because of this nib. Um, usually when pens, when you're looking for something to show shimmer, you need to have a really juicy nib. I wouldn't say that this is juicy, but it's certainly not not dry by any means. It, it just works great, actually. Um, I think it would work really well for school or for business, but you can definitely see the shimmer in this ink, and it's just a nice basic blue. It's just kind of a royal blue. Um, so I think that it would be pretty versatile in a number of situations. 
I do want to do a quick smear of ink to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like or I want to give myself an idea of what it looks like and so how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to dip into the ink with my little pocket knife and let's just try to smear some of it across the paper. In all fairness, it has been sitting there, and so I bet some of that shimmer has settled to the bottom. Maybe I should shake it up and see if that makes it. Oh, yes, look at You can see all of the shimmer at the bottom. So let's shake it up and lay down that line again. I don't know if that will make a difference, but we'll find out. Oh, I can definitely see more shimmer in it now. So, if you're going to be using an ink like this, you definitely want to shake it up right before you use it. And I may have seen a little more shimmer in my ink had I done that, but you can absolutely see it now. This was what I did without shaking it up, and there's virtually no glitter or no shimmer. And this was after shaking it, and you can just see all of the shimmer. That's gorgeous. That is what I'm talking about. Why don't all found pen inks have shimmer in it? I don't understand. Uh, so, that is beautiful. It's like a, a royal blue with gold. Gold shimmer all throughout. Beautiful. So I'm going to use this ink. I am going to use this pen. I will come back and revisit with you um, later after I've had an opportunity to try it out. But my first impression is, of course, I would not hesitate to buy this ink. If I had the storage to buy all of these in full bottles, these along with, you know, Diamine Shimmer Tastic, I would have the whole set. Having said that, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this if you're looking for something that has shimmer. I mean, just look at that. That's beautiful. Again, as a gift or something for yourself, if you're just looking because you want a new pen, maybe you're bored with your collection a little bit, you can't go wrong with the price, $24, a 10% off coupon. Uh, pen Pixie at Pen Chalet. I just, I'm so blown away by the price. I just can't deal with it. Um, but I will come back and give you more of a review after I've had a chance to use it. But first impression, I'm, I'm kind of in awe of the Pilot Night at this point. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you have a great day. Links to the products and everything in in the description box, uh, everything that I've talked about will be in the description box below. And uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll speak with you soon. Bye-bye.